been around Tesco's, folks. Uh, looking for a few bits and bobs to review. And um, I found these. They are cocoa and orange bites. Dogs have just gone into the living room. Like he does. It's like I tell you what, sometimes these dogs, right, especially the doodle, if there's any, uh, if there's a room shut off and uh, he wants to get in it and the door's not quite catched properly, he bursts through and it's like, uh, it's like the bloody Sweeney. It really is. It's like John Thor, or what, the Regan and Carter, the, uh, coming through the door and uh, we're the bloody Sweeney son and we haven't had our dinner. That's him. And then him. He is. He just like, boosh, and he's through. Completely unbelievable. Or is it? The people who have been watching my things, uh, videos will know that the uh, doodle is not unbelievable. He's far from it. He's uh, completely mad. So anyway, I picked up these Tesco's Cocoa and Orange Bites. A tasty blend of dates, blossom honey, and cocoa, cocoa nibbles, nibs. Uh, no added salt. It's a source of fibre, so this will help to keep you regular. I did pick it up. It was near the breakfast bar kind of um, that area, you know, where the, um, the the sell all that healthy. It's supposed to be healthy. I haven't got a clue if it's healthy or not. It's a milk, a mix of dates, cocoa, and honey with natural orange flavourings. Uh, 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 cocoa mass, cocoa nibbles, orange powder, honey, rice, flavouring. Suitable for vegetarians. So there you go, folks. It's super for vegetarians. Um, I don't think it's halal. I've got some. Uh, somebody keep asking me for halal stuff. It's uh, it's not going to happen, youth. All right, mate. Uh, nothing against halal or anything like that. I just don't do anything that's uh, religious grounds. Well, I suppose I've just done an Easter egg thing, isn't it? And that's, uh, that's the thing about it, religion. Sticky hand. Um, so there you go. I'll promise uh, we're happy to refund or replace any Tesco's product. Peel and reseal. Shall we do that? We'll just eat it. I think it cost me the grand total of a pound or something stupid. I don't, uh, I don't know. Cool, they do stink of orange. They smell of chocolate orange. Terry's gold, uh, Terry's orange. Can you remember them? Yeah. You tap it and you unwrap it. But you never did it. You tapped it and nothing happened. What was it? I got a kid in there. Like, you're supposed to tap the wrap. It. You're supposed to, it to, like a flower, you know, when they speed the, the speed the um, film up on a flower opening. Like some kind of educational uh, information um, program. I was expecting it to do that. You tap it, nothing happened. It was just a con. In fact, really, that should have been done under the trade description app because you didn't. You tapped it, and it, it didn't unwrap it. So, move on to the actual what I'm reviewing. It's. Um, Right then, inside here, they are little bites. They're about the size of a humbug. For the visually impaired, they are about the size of a humbug or a cola cube. If, um, if you ever never had a humbug or a cola cube, uh, well, then you're knackered, isn't you? I can't describe it anymore. It's uh, probably inch square and then half an inch in diameter. Yeah, something like that. Oh, look, my nails need cutting. Uh, Granny Dora used to say, never cut your fingernails on the Sunday or she'll have the devil on your back all week. What kind of crap was that? Well, that's all about. Don't cut your nails on a Sunday. Right, I've taken a bite into it. Right, a bit chair. Oh, God, I don't like that at all. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. 
Normally. Oh, God, they're horrible. I think it's the dates. I just don't like them. The dry. I suppose I've got to have another one to try and describe it now. It's I think it's the dates. Oh, no, not very hard. They're really not very nice. Some people, if you like dates, you'll love them. They are chocolatey orangey, but I don't like them. Now, when you're a kid and you go, and you spit it out. That's how I feel at the moment. If I was a celebrity, and I was when I'm a celebrity, I'd be saying I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. I don't like them at all. In fact, that's one of the worst things I've ever had in my mouth, and I've had some horrible things in my mouth. Nothing rude. How do you lot think? That is just, it's dry, it's chewy, it's claggy. I honestly don't know how that's healthy for you. Because that is making me feel quiet. It's stuck in my teeth. Oh, truth. Right. I don't know if people are like them. I really haven't got a clue. Because I know I don't, and I certainly won't be buying them again. But there again, these people out there. Oh, truth. I really don't like them. I really, really don't like these. I don't know what else to say. I just don't like them. And I will never, ever buy them again. If they are up the cover street. That's better, that's got really good taste. So folks, now I've got some proper taste in my mouth. Famous grouse. Um, I don't like these, I don't like these one bit. There's a lot of people out there who might like them. They might like dates and honey and orange and cocoa and cocoa and all that kind of whatever. But I do not like these. I can honestly say, I know my body, I treat it as a temple. I look after myself, I eat well, I exercise, and um, I won't be buying these again. Nowhere near will I be buying these again. I, I don't know. I do apologise, Tesco's. Um, it, it, do you know what, right? It's, it's things like this that have started to make me go and shop in Morrison's and stuff like this, because Tesco's are losing money. Uh, they're getting rid of staff, and they invent this. I would have personally said, don't bother inventing this and keep some of your staff. Or don't pay your managers so much because, oh, I don't know, it might be a big hit. I don't know, who the hell am I? I'm just some fat bloke on YouTube. Hey, just some fat bloke on YouTube. Right, seven o'clock. I am going to go and uh, do some stuff and then I'm going to watch Endeavour. I do like Endeavour. If you've never seen Endeavour, um, get an endeavor and give him a go. It was uh, Morse as a younger person, as an out, uh, up and coming rookie copper. I love it. I love everything like that. It's bloody brilliant. Good old British drama. All right, folks, ladies.